Yes, as performances go, it doesn't get much better than that, Sean, does it? No, oh, thank you. Uh, delighted with that, I have to say. Um, I suppose the only uh, blot on my copybook would be there was no century for the crowd. It's always nice to make a century. Mm. Um, we are trying to put on a show, as we always say. Uh, but apart from that, um, do you know, I'm really pleased with that. Let, let's get straight to it. I thought it was a ball-striking masterclass right from the off. What do you make of this one? Yeah, these are the ones that, you know, they tell you all that you need to know, don't they? You know, it's gone exactly where I've aimed it. I've sighted it exactly there and the cue ball came back on a string. They're confidence boosters, aren't they? So you want a piece of the pocket, a certain piece of it? Yeah, you know, we're not just aiming at the pocket. Um, we're being super specific. And, of course, that affects the trajectory of the cue ball. So mm. it's very nice early in a match to get one of those right. I spoke to you a couple of nights ago about your cue ball zipping. It was tonight also, wasn't it? Yeah, this was lovely. It's very easy to leave this cue ball near the side cushion or too low and actually end up snooking behind that red. Mm. But I really got into that. Again, you know, for me, evidence of the change of my equipment, a slightly bigger tip, getting that little bit more side. Um, and so far, so good. Yeah, another uh, brilliant shot. You, sorry, let's actually get this one. I wanted to show this one because you're looking for top side of pink. Yeah, top side has to be, you know, low, low on the pink uh, is no good there. And when we talk about that, we mean a, an imaginary line from the pink to the middle pocket. You've got to be above that so you can make the cannon to the reds. Sorry, to be able to do this. Yeah, and of course, this is one of those shots, as you know, and anyone who plays knows. If I go too high up the cue ball, the, the cue ball actually arcs around the reds. So you've got to, you can see I'm only just above the middle there and to keep the cue ball going towards those reds. And uh, it couldn't have worked out any better. The, the, I'm going to pay you a compliment here. A, a couple of years ago, I would have said, that's Sean's strength, that thing, whatever thing. No, I don't know what your strength is. Do you understand <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, no, I think it's, you know, we, we, we talked years and years ago about the potential of players like Judd Trump uh, and the likes. And, of course, they went on a massive, quick learning curve. Mm -hmm. And to be completely honest, you know, it, it took me a little bit longer than it perhaps should have done. But I, I think now, you know, most areas of my game are pretty strong. If we were playing top trumps, um, you know, at the moment, I feel like I score quite highly in most areas. Here's an example of it choices yeah you know years ago i just wouldn't have seen this shot let alone have played it properly mm. obviously now the shots to move the pink it's now a yellow ball game and i got the snooker i've got my dear friend uh, angus mcanally here with me yeah uh, who's a, a a lover of the billiards and he would have loved that shot because i'm in my mind i'm playing a drop cannon to a, an imaginary ball here yes a billiard shot got the snooker behind the blue and angus that was for you <laughs> this one might have been for angus as well because um this is the reward. Uh, before you, we play this shot, is it the case that when you start being mindful of that last shot, you start getting rewarded for good thinking? I think so. And, and, I get, and again, you know, this is a, the obvious shot here is to screw the cue ball in behind pink, pink mm -hmm. get the cover here behind pink and blue and knock the yellow up. But to play the yellow up the table, the green's my saviour. You know, if that goes wrong, the green's blocking the pocket. So obviously it couldn't have worked out any better and it was basically touching ball the blank. Yeah, I mean, I, that overall, marks out a 10, 9 point what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think if I hadn't missed the green going for the sentry in the second frame down the ret, down the cushion, um, I think I'd have been at 100% pot success. So I'm pleased with that. You should be. <laughs> what do you say to the idea that you're the massive favourite in the top half of this draw? And I think that, uh, you know, I'm 41 and, you know, I've, I've, I've won a lot of tournaments and won some big tournaments in, in the recent months. So I'm happy um, being, you know, spoken about in those terms. Um, I'm just here doing my thing. I'm not really getting involved. I'm doing all the things right off the table between matches, preparing well. And, you know, I just give my best every time I go out. Thank you for your best tonight because it was wonderful. There's, uh, there's lots going on, of course, on the outside tables. You can watch tables two and three on Discovery Plus. But... Coming up for you tonight is this. We've got Matthew Selt against Jack Lazowski. That's our second feature match of the evening. Stay with us. That'll be up next. <laughs>